Okay, I'm gonna try to be more succinct. What's up, guys? Uh, I'm just coming back from club. Uh, as usual, not as usual, yeah, kind of as usual. Uh, on average, I usually go alone, and I just like to go alone. I, I find that I don't have to worry about anyone. I don't have to do any babysitting. And also, yo, man, if you bring a friend, technically that's your competition, because he doesn't want to fucking, like, go, like, he doesn't want to bang uglies while you get the hotties. He wants to get the same hotties as you do, and like generally, like girls are, yeah, the hot girl gets all the guys, and like the hot guy gets all the girls, so, yeah, if you're gonna bring a friend, bring an ugly friend. <laughs> I don't know, that's kind of mean. Anyways, um, no, but honestly, I had a lot of fun tonight, and uh, what happened was, I got on guest list uh, before I went, obviously that's key, and then I added four people plus guest list. I always add four people. That reminds me, I have to do something very nice for the guest list lady, because she always gets me in with like, she always gives me passes with no complaints, like nothing. Like, like even if it's like past the guest list time, she still gives me passes. Or even if like, I'm not on the list, like today, I wasn't even on the list, she got me in for free. That's like, and she got two girls in for free. That's like 45, well, yeah, that could be like $60 worth of value. Anyways, the girls were happy to get in for free with me. Uh, one of them was really cute, and I like I, I was able to talk to her a lot. I was able to communicate with her pretty well, and she seemed into me, and I was into her. I was into both of them, to be honest. They're both they were both really good looking, but um, yeah. Um, once we went inside, uh, they they were a part of a booth. They were like, yeah, our friends are at this booth. And um, they're just like, they're waiting for us. And I'm like, okay, no problem. So then I got them in and then I was like, okay, I'll be, I'll be like on the dance floor or whatever, I'll, I'll see you later. So I went on the dance floor and I like did my thing, I danced, I think I actually break danced a bit. No, 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 wait, no, that's not actually true. So she came and she told me, this girl's like, a lot of fobs, like you meet a lot of fobs at the, at the club. So like, she was telling me how it was her first experience like at a club in Toronto. So I was like, oh, okay, like I'll try to make it good for you. Like I got you in for free, you know? Uh, and then like, I didn't, sorry, this is after, this is before. So uh, basically I was on the dance floor and then they come and then I was like, yo, watch this. And then I started doing hand hops and I'm like, yo man, I'm, I'm a good dancer. So like I just did my, I know I said I wouldn't dance before, but honestly, like, if a girl has never seen dancing in a club and you're the life of the party, that's sick. That's not a, that's not a bad thing. Like, but it, it can go both ways. Like, a guy could take your hot girl away while you're <sighs> while you're dancing, which could suck. But that didn't happen this time. And yeah, she was pretty. She was pretty hot. Like, she wasn't insanely hot, but definitely like 8 out of 10 for me so I'm happy um, like in terms of looks in terms of personality generally it's like it's a hotter, she's a hotter girl she has a horrible personality and she has she's less hot than she has an amazing personality I don't know why it's just the way it works um, so I danced they were really impressed her and her friends were really impressed they were like yo and she was like holy shit this guy's like sick and I was like yeah um then we danced a bit and like I made sure to like dance with her and it was so funny because like like honestly I, I when I break it was one of the best experiences ever because uh, so many people like made a giant circle and then they started going in after me and they started like dancing like this fat chick kept on trying to dance with me and I was just like what the fuck's going on <laughs> it was just crazy man it was like that the entire night I'm really glad I went I was gonna stay home and do work but like, yo man, you gotta go out and ex like, you can't just like jerk off or you can't just like fantasize about your ex-girlfriend or what or your exes or, yeah, like honestly, you can't fantasize about BS like, or just, yeah, literally mental jerk off or just do pathetic things like, you know, pay for sex or whatever, you know, like illegal shit. F that, man. Go out. Like, it's actually a very friendly, nice world if you, if you carry yourself correctly 
Um, I'm not perfect. I have things wrong with me for sure. I get rejected all the time, but I always stay positive. Like I noticed even like really good looking guys came up to me. He's like, girls don't like me. And I'm like, I look at this guy and he looks like a fucking Greek God. Like, I'm like, yo man, like this guy can fucking get any girl in here, man. Why is he like, he's like, pick, he's hitting on like the wrong girls or something. Uh, anyways, I, lo- I went on a tangent. Uh, basically, yeah, this is so sick. So then, um, we're dancing and I tell the girl, like, you can say, I know that you're supposed to lead the girl. That's a very important thing, leading the girl. I tell her, I'm like, oh, come see, like, have you seen the, like, basement? It's pretty cool. It's so, it's like, so cool. So then she's like, no, I haven't. Let's go see it. So I grab her hand and I lead her through the club. And then we walk downstairs and I think I made a joke. I can't remember. <laughs> Sorry. I made a joke and then like I'm like this is the bathroom and then we got water like honestly everything was free it was so nice like I got to I got to park for free because I'm a